Hello guys, it's uh, 204 Underground, and what I'm going to be doing is showing you uh, how to make the main bass sound from my Into Your Eyes remix for the Boy in a Band composition competition. It's by the band uh, You and Army. I'm going to go ahead and start you off at the uh, at the draw, I mean, uh, excuse me, at the build, and then um, it'll run through the drop, and then I'll go ahead and show you how to make the uh, synth sounds. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this. I'm going to go ahead and solo it out. Okay, so pretty much what this sound is, is it's using um, frequency modulation synthesis or FM synthesis in order to get the grittiness and some of the modulation that's behind it. But the main part of this is um, using vocoding which I'll go ahead and go into more detail later, and more specifically actually how to create that sound using vocoding. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. So go ahead and make a, a new combinator, and then inside of it creates a 14-2 uh, mixer because we're gonna be having quite a few channels on this track. So let's go ahead and adjust some of the levels before we get a too far here, so it sounds exactly the same as the original sound that we had. Okay, the first one's going to be 76, 62, uh, 78, 88, 56, 46. And then uh, our master will be at 66. Because once we start stacking all these synths, it'll create real, real loud. And uh, that way nothing gets gets too overpowering or anything. Okay, so go ahead and start and, and uh, have a initialized version of Thor. It'll say right here, initialize or reset device if you're in Reason 6.5. And uh, move it up to 14 as your pitch band amount. And then go ahead and open it all up. So we're going to be using... Um, a bunch of oscillators here, but the third one we're going to be using as a pretty much as an LFO, but we'll we'll go to that here in a second. So the first one's going to be an analog oscillator on octave three, a square wave, but we're going to turn it into a a pulse. We just keep the pulse width at twenty four, so it's more of a pulse wave than a uh, than a square wave, and then create a phase modulation oscillator. And keep the octave at four, and then do this squiggly wave here, and then turn the FM up all the way. I can remove this filter for now. And then we're going to create our final oscillator for this synth. And uh, it's going to be octave four on a triangle wave, this one right here. And what we're going to be using this is pretty much as an LFO to do the actual frequency modulation to the oscillators. It'd be pretty much like using a LFO to modulate the pitch of these real fast. But if we do it this way and use frequency modulation, it's more in tune. So do uh, on your source oscillator three, Oscillator 1 FM and oscillator 2 FM. So the amounts we're going to be doing this is actually right now the sound sounds like this. So currently that's not really exciting, but this will will make it sound better. So move the FM amount to 22, this other one to 37, and that creates considerable more grittiness to the sound. And now what we're going to do is use two notch filters and one's going to be moving up to the middle and then one's going to be moving from the top down so we'll be meeting in the middle and that creates that sort of vowel sound um if you, essentially if you don't know what this is all it is if i was to visualize it with an eq it would look like I'm still trying to find everything because they've upgraded 
36.5 and switched where everything was. But it would pretty much be like this right here where there's this notch being cut out. Again, just Google it along with frequency modulation synthesis if you want more in depth on what that actually is. So move your drive up to 96 and the resonance up to 69. And then your envelope down to zero. And then we're going to go ahead and get this rotary one to start modulating some stuff. So go to filter one, frequency, do 88 as the minimum, and you're going to do eight as the maximum. Okay, so now it sounds like this. So as you can see, that's actually cutting out a lot of frequencies. So what we're going to do is run one and two again. And we're going to use another stay variable filter on notch mode, except um, this time we're going to be using, let me see, a drive of 96 and a res of 47. And a click shift and drag, and it'll actually make it drag slower. And uh, it'll be easier to control parameters. Now, we're also going to do, because this one's moving uh, down or up, I can't remember, but... Uh, the second one is going to move in the opposite direction. So select rotary one here again. Go to filter two frequency and then have minimum be 37. And the maximum be 127. So now with this sound it sounds like this. So now I'm actually going to run it through. That's why it doesn't sound like so it's starting to get there, but um, we need to layer more excessively in order to get that sound. So let's make another Thor. And this time we're not going to make the pitch bend uh, 14, we're actually going to get 10. Because whenever they pitch bend out of tune, it sort of gives this more morphing feel um, to the sound that I found that just works better. So we'll go ahead and actually initialize that device. Do a 10. And then um, bring up the sustain. Make sure you do that on both. Or the sound will die out. We're going to use two FM pair oscillators and then an analog oscillator acting as an LFO. So our first is a carrier two. Oh, moving down to octave three, carrier two, and then to one with FM 100%. And next one, octave three, it'll be one to one, just like that with 100% uh, FM. And then again, the analog will be at four at a saw. So just keep that how it's being. And then do uh, oscillator 3 to 1 FM again, 2 FM. And then uh, do 28 is your amount, and 25 is the next. So what this synth sounds is like this. We're going to go ahead and get some of those filter uh, filtering going again with the notch filters. So on filter 1, select a notch filter. with a drive of 99, a resonance of 40. And then we're going to go ahead and move this again with the um, rotary one. Let's make sure you select Thor 2, filter, oh, filter, there we go. Frequency 0 to 69. And the key here is not routing a bunch of different parameters to this one rotary in order to get that shifting baseline that we hear in all these modern dubstep Hard house tracks and then again we're gonna run one and two again through another notch filter it's gonna be moving in the opposite direction run it through 85 is the drive and 24 is gonna be the resonance and we'll go back up here again make sure select rotary one for the second one filter frequency okay do 122 Uh, 122 to 74. Okay, and this sounds like this. So together what we have so far all sounds like this. So now we're going to make um, one more Thor instance. Um, and then we're going to reset the device again. Pitch bend range of 10. We're going to turn up the sustain so it doesn't die out. And then um, we're actually going to remove the filter and then run one and two through that. 
And instead of doing that shifting with the notch filter, we're actually doing something else on this synth. So do um, the octave three here, octave four with the square wave and with a pulse width of 84. So again, we have more of a pulse wave than a square, which would be right up here in the middle. And then again, let's get the LFO, sine wave, octave four, Okay, and the value here is going to be 34 and then 28. So what's this sound? If I solo it out, it sounds like this. Instead of doing that uh, form of shifting with those filters, what we're going to be doing is increasing this value from 0 to 34. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Um, and how we're going to be doing that is if you put the scale you can pretty much tell it if you want to do modulate by an LFO or a rotary or whatever. So do 100% so it moves from 0 to the value specified there. And then put it to uh, modifiers, rotary 1, which is this guy right here. But what we're going to do is actually have that mapped to right here. So select sore 3, and opposite buttons, rotary 1. If we watch this, uh, you'll hear it shifting and you'll see that moving. <laughs> So that's pretty much what that's going to sound like. And I apologize if you can hear my brother singing in the background. We're, we're actually working on an album and finishing up, so he's writing all kinds of stuff. Um, so that's pretty much that sound all sorted. And uh, that'll be the end of our first video here. And I'll go ahead and show you what we have so far. In the next video, we'll be adding on the next three Thor instances. And then be adding on that modulator, um, like I was talking, and all the effects.